Hi everyone, welcome to our children's message this week. We are only three weeks until Easter. And on Easter Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning, we are going to have an Easter egg hunt at our church. Well, my grandson Brett and my granddaughter Sophie are practicing for the Easter egg hunt. And I'd like to show you their practice. There's Brett and Sophie hunting Easter eggs. Did you find, go get, go get them. Brett's getting them. Sophie found one. <laughs> you can put it in a bucket. Can you help him, Sophie? Brett has this. Uh... Easter egg hunts can be a lot of fun, and we hope you will join us at church on Easter Sunday at 10 o'clock for the children's Easter egg hunt. Well, if you don't have Easter eggs to hunt for at home yet anyway, you can play hide and seek where somebody hides and you try to find them. Hide and seek is a lot of fun. I used to love to play it with my friends when I was a child, and now I play it with my grandchildren. But I'd like to tell you a story about my young cousin. When she was about three years old, we were playing hide and seek, and she thought that if she hid her eyes like this and she couldn't see you, then you couldn't see her. And so we had to tell her that she wasn't hidden. We could still see her. Well, sometimes we do things that we're not proud of, things that we know are wrong. And we might want to hide from God because we know that we've done something to disappoint God. But here's the good news. God already knows what we've done. And God wants to forgive us and help us to do better. So the good news is we don't need to hide from God. In fact, we need to turn to God for help to do better in our lives. And that's what God wants us to do because God loves us very much. So God loves you, God sees you, and God wants the best for you. So I hope this week that you have a great week and may God bless you and keep you until we meet again.